Well, oh, guess what? Head on to Deep Dark Wood then, I... Oh, uh, that guy's accent's gonna get to me. Like, uh... Irish or something. No, he's, uh... More like Scottish. Let's go! Well, one experience. That was a very weak enemy. Ah, uh, he got a first strike on me. Let's go! Okay, how do I get out of this? Sleeping files are annoying. Ah, uh, yeah, these enemies aren't worth wasting time with. Da -da -da. Yeah, that guy is kind of pretty fast. So they're they're just running at me. I might as well confront them before they get a first strike. This is a, just a little boy who's going around and beating animals with a stick. Oliver teaches good lessons here, children. Zero magic. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a deep dark wood, all right. This is gonna be like Lost Woods. Forest of Fairy Tales. Ooh, lovely. Look at that! It's a waystone! Very useful! A waystone? Yediman! Yeah, there are these ancient stones, see! You can use them to sort a record of your adventures so far! In all places like forests and so on, you can't just block yourself on the nearest rock and write your story down! But why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, bud, because they're crawling with horrible beasties, isn't it? They are? That sounds kind of scary. You'll get used to it, bud. Just remember, you can't get recording your progress any old way out. I'm going to explain a little more. That's a waste, then. And you held the magic pattern be fully restored. Not bad, eh? That's not all, bud. These little beasties will let you save your progress. Shadow's best friend, they are. Which is right, you should summon every waystone you see and make good use of it. But I think that's sorry, isn't it? Sure, Mr. Trippy. Tiny! That's what I like to hear. Except you're as good as your word. Right, all. Next up, you don't matter the woods. If you're lucky, you'll be able to use these one day. Okay. Yes, I'd like to save my progress. Can I save my progress by doing the triangle thing? Or is that like a different kind of save? Huh. <laughs> it's a tad worrisome.
<laughs> I'm gonna go this way, sucker. What are you doing, man? Fine, I'm coming. Jeez, I just want to explore. I'm a little boy in a strange new world. I must know my surroundings if I want to survive. Mr. Drippy! Oh. Wait for me! Who goes there? Oh, is this a DQ tree? Yep. Jeepers. Holly boy, meet old Father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in me. Sorry, you at all, Ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, we spotted it. Did you, you bark, Ship? Well, well. The pure-hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Very well. You shall have my aid. But first... We had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, ho, ho, yeah! Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So, you're going to need a helping hand, or claw, or beak. Or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. Mr. Drippy's this spell name Form Familiar here. You know what? The boy is correct. Look at his wizard's companion. We're seeing that it is missing more than a few of its pages. Really? Nickas! So does that mean I can't cast a spell? Ho ho ho, I'm not as powerless as all that, young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar. Ah, oh, yes. A good from me to you, young Oliver. Thank you very much, old Father Oak. Simply possessing the page for a particular spells no guarantee that you'll be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that for now, mud. This one, let's get four familiar go, will you? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. from your very own heart, a familiar. This is a familiar? That's right, the fighting spirit inside you made flesh a soldier of your soul. Are you gonna really help me fight? Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Ouch! That was a mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. This is a familiar, huh? He'll be coming with us? Dealing well, honey boy! The more the merrier, isn't it? Here, you better give the little fellow a name, eh? Mighty! Oliver, we cannot let you... We cannot let you set off into the wall with only that withered wand in your hand. Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. The first is the restorative incantation known as Healing Touch.
I think that's the most useful spell there is for the Wandering Adventurer. Cuts bruises, sprays, gashes, all got in a jiffy with healing touch. See, you make it sound like I'm going to get hurt an awful lot, Mr. Drippy. Next, I give you the gift of Blazing Inferno. Fireball. Shoots a little ball of fire, that one does. Plant-based species flipping hate fireball. Even old Chibes here is scared of fireball. Drippy, how dare you? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old Father Oak. That's why he's a pure-hearted one. A boy, you can press square at any time to open your spells menu. While well, spell like Healing Touch can be used at any time, fireballs meant primarily for use in battle. That said, the most unexpected of spells can prove incomparably useful given the right set of circumstances. Novel problems call for novel solutions, after all. If you find yourself at something of a loss, I recommend that you go through your magical repertoire. You never know which spell might save the day. For a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a logman. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. We can do this. I don't know why it's to learn about fighting with familiars. For some, you got to pick. He's going to fight out of you and your little friend. We've gone to the tunnel making him, so we best get him a go, eh? Select him, will you? Here goes! Tiny, let's send him into the fray, shall we? But yeah, see that circle on the left there? That's your familiar stamina gauge. What that does is it shows you how much longer you can fight for, see? The longer you keep him on the go, the shorter his stamina gauge will get. But empty. That means the poor lad's so tired he can't fight anymore. Tragic, eh? So before that happens, you have to call him back to you for a bit of a rest, like. I oh, there's something else about familiars you should know. See this little mark by here? That's his sign. Ah. Sort of like a star sign, except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. And like star signs, different ones get on better. You can use that to help you in battle. Next, let's talk about tricks. They're proper, powerful abilities, but like your spells. And just like spells, they cost MP to use. You can see the cost written next to them. What you've got to remember is that you and your familiar share MP and HP. So if you use a trick or takes a big hit, it's your MP or HP that will suffer. Crikey, that is a long old lesson, eh? Right, let's search for the top tip, shall we? Your familiar stamina is always going down, so you'll need to swap with him regularly. You can do that anytime you like by pressing L1, isn't it? I'm going to start talking before I put us both to sleep. It's your turn to sing for your supper. Your land boy, Buck. Okay, so he levels up too. Not bad. So now you know how to fight the familiar and the dolly boy. To be a true contender, you'll need to learn when to let your familiar loose and when to take control of yourself. I'll do my best, Mr. Trippy. Oh, and when he's not fighting, the little fellow can be found taking easy in the creature cage. In the creature cage, you can share your fate with familiars with delicious treats. There are all kinds of treats to choose from. Some will improve their abilities, and there's other ones that can even teach them new tricks. Tiny! Be the little blighters enough of what they fancy. The bonds of familiarity between you will grow, meaning you can boost their abilities even more. Careful not to stop them too full of sweeties, though. They'll only end up getting full up. Adoration and moderation, that's the key. It's probably a lot to get your head around, but just remember that the creature cage is where you look after your familiars and take it from there, isn't it? Creature cage, got it. I probably look after them real well, Mr. Drippy. Well, I almost forgot. There's something we wanted to ask you, your drunkiness. There's a guard down in Ding Dong Dell, and he's broken hearted, see. 
Mm, more good hearted, you say. Shadara's evil spreads still further, so you will be needing. I mean, well, yeah, uh, okay, too. It's correct, you are. They are still glutted, aren't you? Oh, 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 patience, young Drippy. Of course I have. Let me see now. Hmm, I know it's here somewhere. Cranky, you're not gone and lost it, have you? Lost it? The insolence I put away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up in there, that's all. Ah, oh, when I seek it out, I have a favor to ask of you. I didn't mention Ray in a flipping hurry, didn't I? Never got time to go. Mr. Trippy, we should help old father out. He gave us his spells, didn't he? Ah, oh, how very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. Alright, alright, I get the flipping message. Come on, what is it you need us for? Well, it's the guardian of these woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I'm afraid he has become rather unruly of late, and he is neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that's no good, is it? We better help you sort them out then, eh? The guardian, he sounds kind of tough. To the right he is. He's way stronger than your average beastie. If you got the familiar on your side now, bud, you'll be fine. And besides, if you're going to take down Shadar, you can't back out of a bit of a light guardian bashing now, can you? Okay, I'll do it. I'm very kind of you. The guardian can be found in the deepest part of the wood, beyond the whispering waterfalls. I wish you luck. We're spells now familiars! You're turning into a proper wizard, isn't it, Dolly Boy? I guess I am, huh? Now then, why don't you take a closer look at your new mate, eh? Uh, how do I do that, Mr. Drippy? It's a piece of cake, bud! Now listen up! If you look in the main menu, you'll see friends and familiars! That's where you'll find all sorts of details about you and your familiar's abilities! It looks a bit complicated, and there are a few options kick about in there, to be fair, but you'll soon get the hang of it, man! And you're so new to this wizarding luck, so there's a limit to what you can do, isn't it? Well, keep fighting monsters, Levitsi. You'll get stronger. We call that leveling up, see? We'll probably make some new mates before long, and all. So be sure to take a close look at them, like I showed you. you got it, Mr. Trippy. Whew! So much talking. Alright, then. See, this is a path we couldn't go last time. Hey, a chest. Ooh, love for white bread. Oh, I get it right familiar. Let me just look at the familiar. Whispering Waterfalls. This one, you early boy, is absolutely crying with monsters beyond here. If we don't get got before you even get to the Guardian, eh? Oh, we fine, Mr. Drippy. I have a feeling to help me now. Where is brave you are. Don't forget that if the going gets tough, don't be afraid to cast Healing Touch. I sure won't. Remember what old Dreamface told you? The spells menu is a mere tap of square away. So try to familiarize yourself with the main menu too, while you're at it. Don't worry, you're not going to break anything no matter what you press, so have a good old poke around, isn't it? And when you learn new skills on that, new options will come up to the main menu. So keep your eyes peeled and make the best of your new toys. Sheepers, there's so much to remember. You'll soon get used to the Dolman and her worries, and I'll pass the Whispering Waterfalls and undo the Guardian of the Woods when you go. Right, let's go help him get back to normal. I guess I'll make use of those at some point. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a touch of this, eh?
He can jump. Let's get in a fight. Wanna? Let's do it! Here goes! <laughs> Oh, that looks very nice hat. Nice, so we share experience too, eh? What? <coughs> Hey there, beastie. <laughs> Spritoo! Let's do it! Here goes! <laughs> ah. Lost a lot of HP there, but <laughs> well, you're still standing strong. See, he's at level three now too. Well, uh, I reckon I'd be able to heal now. Or I could just touch this thing again. Haha, <laughs> bye bye, sucker. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> jumping right into him. We can do this. Here goes. Come on, Mr. Familiar, fight the same monster you just destroyed. Where the music cut off? Oh, oh, there's no loving that creature. Let's go. Oh dear. Yeah. Freaking fireball on this jerk. So it looks like there's kind of two paths we can go. Oh, it looks like the way we gotta go. So let's go the way we're not supposed to go, huh? Made wouldn't even matter. Oh, 
Okay, so there's a chest here. Okay, so we need a certain spell to open this thing? Too easy, eh? Hope oh, you're a new enemy and you look kind of creepy. <coughs> Whipper snapper. Fucking, I knew there was something I forgot to tell you about familiars. Huh? What's that? This is important, early boys. So listen carefully, alright? I showed you how your familiars can use tricks, didn't I? Well, as the little fellows get stronger, they'll start learning new ones. Well, I expected that. You want to see what tricks your familiars have up their sleeves? Choose friends and familiars from the main menu. Tricks are a bit different from magic. The little trick fills the single command slot, you see. The stronger when you are in the friends and familiars bit. They can change the command slots to use for tricks. Spicy, but I can only remember a maximum of eight tricks at any given time. Maybe you want them to learn a new one. You have to make them forget one of their old ones. A little bit of a pain, like, but at least you can teach an old familiar new tricks. Anyway, the important thing is that you assign a trick to your familiar's command wheel. If you don't, you won't be able to use it. Simple as that. Okay, I think I got it. Ugh, enough talking. <laughs> 